Today we're back with another tutorial video and this time we'll do something different. Um, we're going to do a new series and the plan is that every month I pick a game or you can suggest a game and we'll take a look at the UI design and uh, trying to recreate it together. Okay, so that's the plan. Um, uh, it's a longer process but trying to keep it uh, short so I already re um, saved out some elements like you know i'm not going to do the guns and stuff so i'm just going to cut out the karate the guns and the icons well um i don't need to recreate them basically so the idea is here just to show you how i would recreate this uh, ui design so this month is far cry 6 and i really love the ui design and uh, uh let's get to it okay so started off with the background and I already have got something going on here. It's very simple. I will, I'll also share the PSD5 with you. You can download it, pick it apart. But basically the idea is here that I just have a normal background layer. Uh, I don't think it's entirely black. It's um, yeah, it's 0B0A and 0A again. So it's not completely black. What I did, I basically just add a new layer, went to filter, render and clouds. Oh, sorry, <laughs> I have to change it back to black and white. There we go. Generate some clouds, zoom out and transform to something large like this. And then just find a place you like, like this one, for example, should be fine. Uh, select the whole screen and just make a copy of this zoomed in version and what I did is basically is just literally erased parts of it like with a huge brush you just go around and remove parts of it which you don't need basically something like this cool yep and then I just apply this gradient map and um, it's just like this so we'll use black on one side or not entirely black and then uh, red on the other and not something not too saturated something like that bring it in a little bit oops messed it up something like that it's too much I think you can play with this Anyway, there we go. So yeah, so that's how I actually achieved that look. You can also go back and just make it like uh, a raised part of the cloud, you know, just to make it, you know, with a softer uh, raise it, you know, just like this. And once that's done, I just uh, convert it to a small object and applied a Gaussian blur. I think it was 8, yeah, I still set to 8. So that's all basically, that's why I achieved that look. Just to show you quickly, um, I'm just gonna delete it. The other one feels better. There we go. So that's the background. And from there, let's see, I also have my colors and uh, my reference picture here. So let's just start with the, the top navigation. Okay, so I'm just gonna create a corner top nav. There we go, and just start adding some some of these many options. There we go. Um, let's use. I believe Oswald is the font. Use a bold size and. Uh, we go. It's not exactly the same font, unfortunately. I'm not sure what they use. I'm just trying to match it as much as I can, but this is probably not the one. Okay. Let's see. Probably they went for 18. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty close, you know. All right. So as this one, we go for the next one, which is map. There we go. And then arsenal there we go uh, amigos 
now write inventory. I'm not sure if is if this is going to be a single video or I might have to cut it and um, and just kind of like divide it into multiple parts. We'll see how we go. There we go, collection and then system. Yeah, this size is not really working. Let's go with 20. Yeah, let's go with 20. I'm just gonna select all my fonts and change the size to 20. There we go. Also, select all my fonts and make sure that uh, the distance between them is the same. There we go. So, apart from the arsenal, which part we're working on at the moment, I'm going to select all my uh, fonts and I'm just gonna reduce their uh, opacity to let's say 50 let me just move them down a little bit and see if that works maybe even lower than that let's say like 30 yeah that should be fine okay um, next part we're going to do these uh, prompt here so it's super simple you just select the triangle tool shape tool and uh, select the, the area I'm just looking at the numbers I always try to to find a, a good number which is like 28 18 that's that's fine and then here you can just unlock the 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 link here and then let's see i think this should be about all right let's do it different way nine yeah nine is the number we need zero nine nine zero there we go just gonna move it down a little bit yeah should do could change it to 10 to be honest I think yeah let's change it to 10 good all right color I'm just gonna pick the color I did I did save my colors here but that's okay that's fine okay next one is just going to use one there we go change the size to light and 14 maybe all right let's see 12 yeah let's go with that change the color to dark and then always name the layers all right and then move it back to its place like that okay we can copy it to the other side Oh, 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 too much. And then change it to R1. There we go. There we go. Okay, so that part is done. Let's move on to this avatar section here. All right. Um, so it's super simple. Again, start off with this uh, rectangular shape. And okay, okay, okay. So what size is this? Yeah, I don't like that. I want. I want to go with 84 and 54. So you can just go here and then just manually type it in. Uh, 54. There we go. And this one 84. Okay. And then don't forget to turn it back on. So yeah, again, I'm just going to basically uh, color pick the the color and then just add a stroke. Okay, inner stroke adds, I think about two pixel, even less maybe, just another pixel. Yeah, that's fine. And um, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go with white, but reduce the opacity to like 30, something like that. Yeah, that's good. I think that's fine. And then let's add the number, which is four, and change the color to this color here. Change the weight to regular, I think should be maybe medium medium fine okay 18 point that is too much i think 14 is the one there we go yeah something like that and then let's create this shape quickly again ellipse tool just take us make a circle like that right and then just basically do another one but like larger like something like actually I, I think it's better if we use the rectangle tool 
and then just kind of uh, create a shape like this okay let me just go a bit closer uh, like that yep and then um, yeah just the top bits I'm gonna go again 10 and 10 there we go and that's it we can merge them now okay and then shape one let's create another one but we're going to make it a tiny bit smaller actually we can use the same size I think we just move it a bit down and um, you need to select the shapes go to this panel here and just, just merge the shapes so um, when I'm going to create another cutout I mean when I create the cutout I can just um, that's gonna be easier okay so so when you uh, select the shape hold down on the alt key and that's basically going to create a cutout from the shape you are on you see like that so when I turn back the opacity to 100% you can see it's it's basically been cut out and then we can just cut out a bit more of that shape let's say like I want to cut away this part as well once that's done you can always go back and 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 adjust it and once you're done you can just go and merge the shapes like this so we can merge everything here and then just there we go okay now I'm gonna move into its place like that like that something like that yeah change the color because it doesn't really match perfect okay all right okay once that's done I'm just gonna move it back to its place and let's move on to the next part which is going to be uh, this section here I'm just gonna go and do the same about four pixel yep change the color to the one we use for the icon there we go and can move the one part which we already done and just kind of create the other sections I'm just gonna basically copy the base move it to the side select uh, the pen tool and then once you hold down on the command key you can just basically drag uh, a selection out to one side and then you can move that so this is fine you can put a, a picture there um, at this time I think I'm just going to cut this out it doesn't really matter obviously you can change this anytime you want it you know it's just uh, to show you how I would do it you know okay there we go all right so we can also uh, command click on this layer and then um, just align it to the middle with these uh, move tools here well, alignment tools here okay all right once that's done I'm going to basically uh, there we go oh, that's a divider okay cool uh, okay and then I'm gonna basically copy this shape one more time and remove the stroke or change the color there we go okay here we are like that And then let me turn it off and just recreate this icon here there's multiple ways to go with it uh, one way would be that you select the pen tool and start basically just kind of like um, um, building up the shape uh, removing the field changing the stroke to the color you want and then basically just change the, uh, the, the direction Tina and then you basically already created this shape right Oops, let me just 
turn this back on you can see um, don't like it though because if you I, I like to keep everything scalable and when you start scaling this you'll always have to go and change the stroke size so I don't really like this method the other one I think is much better when you just basically just use the rectangular tool and then just start building your shape up okay so there's one that I mean we can also use the pen tool you know just like this change the opacity so you can see what you do there we go there we are it's a very, a very generic um, uh, icon uh, most of the games use like this some sort of shopping cart all right so that's done we can add the wheels super simple like that and multiply merge them together once it's done and you can um, you can keep it like this so you can go back and change if you want it I like to merge them together once I'm done with them okay and then next part is going to be this stroke uh, well this plus icon here All right, like this merge them together and then just select both of them go to layer and then combine shapes uh, subtract front shape and then it's all done you can see the icon is ready so that's pretty much the this section here there we go all right so that's done cool let's move on to this section here so again we'll have this huge header here and um, call it ours no there we go change it to bold and then something large even larger than that let's see 60 let's see what's that not oh, even more than that okay just going to basically just do like this okay cool let's change it to 86 there we go once that's done I'm just gonna basically move it to its place got my guides up there we go perfect all right so you can basically turn on and off your guides with command H you can just turn it back on and off okay all right this line here um yeah I'm just gonna go and use uh, uh, just a normal shape layer okay and then change the color and then size I'm going to do there we go so that's the canvas size basically so it'll go along there good just duplicate it there we go and then we got that part ready I'm going to move this there we go I think I already had something done for that oh yeah header I think I used it as a header there we go let me turn it back on yeah I got the header and then decor text basically I created these text here already so Uh, if I turn my background back on you can see it's it's already there okay all right one thing we forgot is the arsenal kind of selection line so I'm gonna turn my ah, it's a very interesting line um, so it's just basically uh, I'm just going to just kind of like match the size and like that and then use the color like this and then just play around with the shape right so what I like to do is just like transform warp and then just start playing with the with the shape a little bit you know so it's going to be less um, generic and, and and it feels a bit more organic now okay so just pull it around here a little bit right so once that's done you can select the pen tool and just start to cut out elements like you see on the corner here there's a there's a cut here there's a cut in the middle so just kind of trying to be like okay so we're just going to go around and just like 
create this kind of shape which will serve as a cutout um, right there's probably some stuff going on here all right and then I'll just go around and then select both go to layer and then just combine shapes subtract there we go we already have got something going on and then just go into the middle and like uh, have another cutout from this shape okay let's see mm -mm 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 -mm. there we go so that's pretty close uh, obviously if I would spend more time on it I could be I could be even closer to that but this is fully adjustable so you can just go back and move parts around you know probably just end up like having another section here another point here maybe I don't know like that like that yeah, like this something like that okay so we're not trying to uh, match it like 100% just like trying to be as close as possible right like this this can go a bit like that all right I'm gonna accept this for now okay so yeah that's uh, And then move it to the top nav there we go okay we can move on uh, we can move on let's move on to the weapon section so this is a similar uh, area um, the similar technique I'm gonna use here as I use here at the active state and that's the weapons all right okay got some shapes already going on I think I already did this it's the same thing right so I just created a normal rectangular shape like that you know and then I started to use the warp tool just to move it around randomly you know like just try to introduce a little bit of a variety of the form like this this is fine you know and then you can go with the pen tool and start uh, thinking about how which part you would cut out you know what would you do to look a little bit more distressed and stuff, you know, something like this. You know, like you can. There's so many ways you can go with this. Select both, go to layers, and then uh, combine shape, and then just remove that. And then you'll you just need to go back and just move it around. Like this is too harsh, so I would just probably go back, select this point as well, just like you know, move it down, you know. A bit too much and it's already looking much better so yeah so this is how I would go about it again you can also change this anytime you want it and once you're done you just go and merge the shapes together and then that's it so I'm just gonna move it to its place okay and add the text to it which is weapons Change the size to something smaller. There we go. There we go. So, alright. Yeah, we can change these settings here. 100 might not be enough. 200 is too much, I think. Let's see. Actually, it's alright. Yeah, but maybe it's medium. Yeah, I would go with medium and then. Yeah, 200. There we go. Change the color to what we have already going on here and then just place it in there. Yeah, that's not medium. I think it's. It's either semi bold or let's just go with bold okay let's go with bold yeah like this there we go all right let's just save and then move on to the next section which is this these uh, uh, weapon slots so we got one large one mm, yeah there we go again looking at the size yeah don't really like that let's see 180 and 322 should be fine all right okay 
So let me just move it to the side a tiny bit so I can see what's happening. But basically it's the same style what we have here. So I can just select this, copy layer style, and then just apply here, okay? So then we've got that going on. So that's good. All right, the next thing we do is going to be Uh, this section here and that's the same thing what we've done before um, but if you if you if you look at it it's basically there's more irregular irregularity on the top than on the bottom the bottom and the sides are quite clean so I would just kind of like have um, a normal rectangular shape something like this okay um, yeah like that color and then just start pulling uh, the top just into place like that something like this is, is great okay cool and then again just you know just parts of it just like very subtle just try to take away little parts of it right like that and then select both go to layers and then combine shape subtract there we go so that should be fine you know obviously we can go back and just kind of uh, if you feel that some part is not enough you can go back, add a bit more to it like this, you know, like that. That might be too much though. Yeah, yeah, kind of like this. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. All right. Okay, I already made this explosive shape here. I, I, I just basically traced the other one, so just to save time, right? There we go, so that's done, and um, let's see what else I have here. I don't think there's any star on this one, I'm just going to move it up here. Okay, okay. Let's just, I'll just call it large item or slot. And then from the icons, I can just take this icon and just move it into here and um, it's actually almost at its place let's just select the dynamite there we go perfect and i think i think that was it for this section here let me uh, let me check that actually i have it here oh there's a star and four i think there's a backdrop here but it's quite subtle so I'm just gonna use this one as a reference because I think it's the same size. Yeah, there we go. Okay, yeah, 30, 32, that's fine. And select maybe this, oops, this color here. And there we go, just place it in here. And then re mm, reduce the opacity to about like yeah, 20 maybe, something like that. It doesn't really look right to me. Okay, let me just try this color. Or maybe try black. Yeah, try black color and then just use like 75. That's not good. Okay. Yeah, I might end up just basically taking that color and just kind of like this, trying to, yeah. Just to have some backdrop there for the numbers and the star. Okay. There we go. I'm just gonna turn it on. Place it on its place. Okay, and then again there's number one here. Just go into put it in here. There we go. Yeah. Something like this. I'm gonna add a very subtle uh, drop shadow. Okay, okay, let's say it's 135. Spread no zero size. Uh, yeah, one is fine. And then distance, maybe one. Yeah, that's good. Actually, I'm just gonna move it back in here and then like use 35. Something like this. Yeah, I think that's good. Uh, I don't think there's anything on a star, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go with this for now. Okay. Oh, what happened here? Perfect. 
okay so this is the large card let me just save this and create uh, the small ones okay so the small ones again the same i'm just gonna use a guide and then just kind of check the size all right <clears throat> sorry okay again I'm just going to paste my uh, layer style here and just add another uh, shape here the rectangle to like this yeah that works there we go and just let me see okay so something like this let me just move it around yeah all right okay okay all right i'm going to actually use this yeah and then okay another i think it's about two pixel Yeah, something like this. There we go. Okay. All right. Okay, so that's done. Let me just add the other icons I have here, which is this rifle here. Good. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna have to adjust the size because uh, the icon is... Uh, okay, where is my stuff? There we go. Let's select everything you want to move. Command selection and just move it up a bit like that. Yeah, like this. All right, let's go with this. Okay. Like that. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Okay, from the large items i can just basically uh, copy the shape and the star we have going on here and then just kind of move it into its place right like that there we go perfect okay so this is going to be um this is going to be the small going to be too small which one is this yeah I knew it let me just move this into this folder here there we go so obviously I could just add all the icons I have here but just to save time I'm not gonna do that I'm going to basically just group all these together and name this the small uh, items and then just literally just copy it over to the next section There we go, and then this is gonna be two. And then again, these two, we can just copy them over down here. Let me see. Um, one more, oh, there we go, good. And then just rename this and this is four there we go okay so that's done we got the weapon section ready and uh, and once that's done let's move on to the gears okay so the gears uh, again I'm going to just save some time here and uh, take some elements uh, from the weapon section 
So this is header. Like the header, we can just take it from there, put it in the gears. There we go. All right. Oops, where is it? Header, here we are. So we can just move it down here and change from weapons to gears. Was it gears or gear? I think it was just gear, yeah. All right. Okay, yeah, there we go, it's in line. And then we can just select this shape P and then press P for the pen tool command and select the area you want to move and just simply just move it in you know like like this far here maybe the top bit as well we can just move it down there we go yeah and uh, once that's done let's move on to this other section here okay so again let's start off with a rectangle tool right like this mm. yeah yeah i would think that it is a, a, an even number okay um yeah i'm gonna use yeah 124 by 124 there we go and then just basically paste the layer style what we have already and then just kind of like move it over one two oh, you know actually let's not do that let's not do that okay let's create this section here first okay so this is super simple we'll just have to do basically uh, just the, uh, the line shape here so I'm just gonna create this and um, yeah there we go let me just actually color pick this here uh, duplicate turn it uh, select both merge them together and then just turn them there we go all right yeah and then from here we could we could do multiple things I could basically cut it down uh, to that section there. I think we can just basically just use the selection tool and uh, let's move it down from 144 to let's say 24 maybe. Yeah, and then again, yeah, like this. Select the other one as well, 124. There we go yeah there we go and then we can cut out the middle section from there as well so the way to do that select the shape again and uh, just hold down actually let me just select my shapes here right and then go to the rectangle tool hold down on the alt key and then just basically drag out a square turn it and then just go back to this section here and then just move it to its place right so just place it in the middle right like that and increase the size like this okay make sure that they are uh, linked together something like that yeah I think this should be fine all right so if I turn back on we got that part there great okay let's move on to the to the lock icon uh, again super simple let's just do a shape here let's see like this i'm gonna move it to the side change the color there we go and then i'm going to add another one which is going to be like this there we go and um, but here I'm going to reduce the fill to zero and then just apply a stroke which is going to be inside and it's at least three I think well two two should be fine and then the color is the same as the the shape layer underneath 
Okay, once that's done, we can just change the top here to, I don't know, let's say like 9 and 9. Okay, and top 6, yeah, yeah. Okay, should be fine. So let's use this size. Okay, need a tiny bit of adjustment here. Yeah, I didn't see that. Anyway, that's fine. Six and six, there we go. So once that's done, we can start adding this X here, which is going to be, okay, like this. All right, duplicate it, turn it, there we go. Merge the two shape together. And turn it again and then just start moving it into the middle of the shape here yes I like this great so now select the two layer go to layers and then combine shapes subtract from shape there we go and then we got this shape ready oops I think I forgot to add this there we go and that's the look and the cool thing about this is that basically this is this is uh, scalable. So if you go and duplicate it to, uh, let's say, duplicate this group to uh, a new layer, okay, right? And I'm just going to select everything and crop to size. There we go. So. So if I were good to go into the image, image size and say, uh, you need to make sure that the scale size is checked and then you'll go and, okay, let's create 10 times the size. You can see it will create the, 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 the icon for you. So that's really cool. All right, we don't want this anymore. Okay, so let's just move it into the middle. this and then this is what I'm going to call uh, locked item there we go so we need to unlock it right so let me copy it over here okay there we go and it's going to be like a gear one we will remove the lock and these shapes from here <clears throat> and then just add, add the first gear icon. There we go. And uh, was there anything on it? Yeah, I think the star. Yeah, good. Let's add those as well. And then we can also just take it from the, the large item from the weapon section. And then move it down to the gears one folder. There we go. All right, so that's done. And we can just copy this section here and change gear two. So it's fine. I'm gonna change the icon of the gear to this one here. Remove the other one. There we go. And then again. And one more time. Okay. Yeah, we can leave it like that. Take the watch and put it in there. Remove the other one. Okay, place it in somewhere in the middle. There we go. I'm gonna just remove these. We don't need it anymore. Okay, that's done. Uh, we got a final line going on here. Okay, just gonna go and add this here. There we go. go great okay. 
Okay, so this is shaping up really nicely. So what we need to add basically is, let me see, uh, add my background. Do, 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 do. Let me just close these up. I got the 3D model which I cut out already, so I got that there. That's great. Let's just move it above to the top, like that. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Oh no. I'm not actually moving the model, I was moving the gear section. There we go, that's why. Okay, cool. Okay, we can remove this for now. And what we have got left is basically this section here, okay? And then this bottom prompt here, and then also the currencies. Okay, let's get to it. All right, so currencies. I think I already made the icons. Yeah, I got the icons already. Uh, done so I'm just going to drag a shape out there we go just move it underneath everything there we go and then just start adding uh, my numbers which is 250 okay so it's 250 perfect just move it into its place. I think the size is great as well. And then also add this drop shadow we had on the other one. Just keep the same settings basically. And that should be fine. Okay, just trying to space it out. So the spacing on the sides are even. Okay, all right, so that's, I'm just gonna be currency one. Copy the base and the number over. Okay, this is 40. Okay, and then change the size. Yeah, 64 should be fine. There we go. And do the same with the backdrop and the number. Just kind of like copy it over and then move it to this place. There we go, somewhere like that. And then I think what's that at zero? Okay, cool. Like that. Let me see the panel. Yeah. 60 should be fine. Okay, cool. So that's currency number three. And then let's do the last one. There we go. Okay. Oh, where do you go? Oh, here. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. What was that? That's zero as well. Okay, no worries. Good. So this should be fine like this. Okay, currencies are done. All right, let's move on to this section here. Um, I think there's some, some sort of uh, rank. Yeah, maybe some Arsenal rank. And uh, let's do this um, shape here as well. So what we're gonna do, we're just going to basically do the same method, like select it, warp it here and there, just, you know, on the side a little bit, on the top a little bit, on the other side, right there, right this, move it maybe this side a bit up, there we go. And then use the pen tool and just start basically just chipping out parts of it you know like uh, the way you would kind of work if you would just cut them out and stuff so that's cool yeah like that something around that you know obviously they spend more time on it and they they plan ahead what they're going to do so i'm just going with the flow at the moment like 
yeah whatever feels right you know kind of copy what the, what they were doing in a way you know but should do for now and um, obviously always recommend to spend more time on it and uh, you'll end up with a much better result of course okay so that's done layer combine and there we go we got a fairly similar shape it does have a drop shadow on it I think yeah perfect and um, let's just move it to its place like that okay and then we're going to add a number two on it there we go there we go okay yeah I mean obviously there's some uh, distress on the numbers here as well uh, I would probably do something similar what I've done before but I'm not going to do it this time okay so but probably the same technique I would use um, however I'm not 100% sure that's what they did they might already have like a font which already have got this kind of distress you know because obviously you have to be dynamic and stuff you know so the numbers are changing I would I would really doubted that they would have like a custom shape for the numbers i think it's more like the font itself is like that it would just make sense to do it that way okay let's do this other shape here and the text that's a bit too large there we go that's still Oh, come on. Yeah, we'll do. We'll do. Okay. Okay, and then we got this shape here. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the one I made for the top header here. So I'm just gonna move it here underneath everything. Got that. Just move it to its place here. Okay, there we go. It's not exactly the same, obviously, but yeah, it, it, it'll do for now. Oh, that's way too big. There we go. All right. And then lastly, we're going to do this prompt here. there we go okay so it's just basically a simple shape we used before right right that will do and then um, let's just put in the text which is obviously a very light no, not that light though maybe regular yeah let's use regular Okay, I don't even think that's the same font, but that's okay. You know, no drama. All right, it'll do for now. And then create this shape here. And use a drop shadow. Again, the same we did before. Like that. And... Uh, we could do, we could do, let, let me see this one here. I'm just gonna move it up. Yeah, we could do, uh, I guess, another copy of this and um, just remove the effect from here for now. Let's say, like, oops, let me just link them together. Now we go like this, something like this, yeah, and then we could. Potentially just have not a drop shadow, but like a stroke, you know, and then 
maybe not inside but outside yeah and then we can just use this color yeah, like something dark like that there we go and then we can play with the size a bit more because I don't think that works well something like this should be fine okay and then we can just move this to this place there we go all right so this is pretty much what I wanted to let me just turn back on my background here we are so this is pretty much what I wanted to do as you can see um, let me just move everything into a folder like this call it work and then you can turn it on and off and then you can see uh, it's pretty close you know it's pretty close considering the time we invested in that which is I'm not sure how much probably about I don't know actually yeah probably over 30 minutes but I'm not sure anyway so I think it's pretty good and and you can see this is the technique I would use to recreate this design and uh, Hope you like it don't forget to comment and if there's any other game you you really like and you wanna uh, you interested in how I would do it in Photoshop then just you know comment and then we'll we'll do it next time okay thank you guys bye